Hey guys, happy Friday, and we are working on jerks. We've been doing push, push jerks for the last few weeks, and now we're gonna start working on the split jerk. For most people, they can lift more weight with the split jerk. Um, just need to practice the footwork, right? So <clears throat> uh, we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing uh, for a couple of the other weeks, which is a 15 minute EMOM. The first three minutes, we'll start off with a drill, and the last 12 minutes will be a single repetition with a little pause work in there. Again, working on positions. So <clears throat> the first one is gonna be that tall split jerk. So you come out of the rack, okay? Feet are right under the hips. You're gonna press it up to your forehead, come up on your toes, and then push yourself into that catch position. Okay? And then recover, bring the bar down to the forehead. Okay? For three reps, okay? After you do that three reps for three minutes, we'll go into only one rep per minute for the last 12. And it's gonna have two pauses in it. So you're gonna come out of the rack, okay? Set up, do a two second pause in the dip. Two second pause in the catch. And then recover, okay? So <clears throat> the footwork here, when we catch the feet go from under the hips, that's the same as the push jerk, down and up. When we catch, our feet are actually gonna go slightly wider into a lunge position. So you wanna be balanced in the front and back. The biggest mistake that we see is that people straighten the back leg and the hip turns. You wanna be on the toe, all right, not a flat foot, and feel nice and stable. You can push through the toe and the front foot Okay, arms locked out. So make sure you practice your footwork. You want to avoid, again, being in a straight line. That won't feel very stable and having that straight leg. So before you load up, that's what we'll be doing. The coach will warm up in those first drills is just working on footwork. So um, that's our strength for today. Let's talk conditioning. All right, guys, so our conditioning today is gonna to be running with toes to bar, thrusters, and burpees. <clears throat> it's gonna be three rounds, 20 minute cap. It's gonna start off with 20 toes to bar. So it's a decent number of reps, so a lot of people are probably gonna scale to a knee raise. You wanna focus on good, big sets, nice high knees, okay? Working on that good control through your lat, right? Be safe on your hands and shoulders for this. Maybe break it up in the early rounds if you need. If you have any issues with that, you can always go to the floor and do V-ups or tuck-ups, all right? From there, you're gonna run 200 meters. Come back, go to a barbell, and we're gonna do 15 thrusters. <clears throat> Thrusters start in that front squat position. It's gonna be a squat first, drive overhead, 15 reps, okay? This is that classic moderately heavy weight where maybe you could do it unbroken, but it's gonna exhaust you, so maybe you break it up. Um, but 15 reps, really focus on getting using the legs, getting a good lockout. When you're done there, another 200 meter run, and you come back, you're gonna do 20 standard burpees, not over the bar, just regular old burpees. Make sure your chest and thighs touch the ground, Drive your hips, jump and clap at the top for 20 reps, all right? 200 meter run to finish the round. You can do all that three rounds through. So a little bit longer workout, 20 minute cap. Have fun with that, guys. See you tomorrow.